Hey friends, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. It's not Tuesday, it's not Tech Tip Tuesday. This is unboxing, if you will. So we're unboxing Chief Architect X11. Uh, the new beta version just came out, dropped yesterday, and it is so much fun. I just want to, amongst all of the new features, I want to show you um, three that I'm, I'm excited for, maybe a fourth one. Um, first of all is check out this new barn door. Uh, yeah, right? We can, let's, uh, let's undo that. We can now, we don't have to play with layer sets to show barn doors open or closed. I can select this, let's show it 100% open. And there's that. We can take this, I believe I can change that to, no I can't. I actually have to drop it in as, oh, there we go. Door type, barn. Bam, can't see it there, we're gonna flip sides. There we go, awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm, yes, that's exciting to me. Uh, another thing is we can put notes now. Uh, they have now got this note tool, which we can um, have note schedules. You can do whatever you, type whatever you want. You can create different types of note schedules. There's bath notes, construction notes, Electrical notes, um, framing, general, general's on there twice, okay. HVAC notes, kitchen, plot plan, roof notes, um, all, all sorts of great stuff. And not only can you create a note schedule here, let's uh, drop a note here, uh, new note, right? Uh, you can also put it, those notes into our renderings and send that to, let's say this is note G01 and we wanted to drop that note. Let's copy this onto the barn door right there. Oh, 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 not only A, That's visible in plan view and 3D view. Oh, I just learned something. G02, G01s, both visible, both are visible in 3D and 2D views. And you can move them around like that. Wow. Uh, okay, I'm tripping right now. I've kind of forgotten what my next thing, oh, I know what it is. Um, our tile, our material. So you can go grab a material off of the internet, right? And you want to make that uh, that material have its own pattern. Watch this. No, I don't want it to have an earth pattern, right? Let's edit that. Pattern from texture. What? We can just do it simply, like so, or you can do advanced and change it and see what you got here, right? We could, um, let's auto compute our thresholds. You know, you can, you can adjust things here. Let's not make it quite so uh, crazy. Let's It, it, here's the diff, difficult thing. If you if you do a low threshold, then you start getting a lot of the uh, um, noise, if you will, of, of the texture. Let's see how, how good we can get it right. 
You can use a threshold factor or not. We'll just use that like so. It's going to create that texture or that that pattern, if you will, right? And then we can click OK. Uh, I'm so excited here. This is just one example. Let's let's see if we can't find a easier. Oh, there's a cool there's a cool one, right? Let's edit that one. So I'm going. I painted the material onto the onto the object. In this case, I'm just painting onto the wall. Uh, I'm going to define material. So from here, I go to probably 3D um, materials, adjust material definition. I've got it on my toolbar up here. And just click on that material that's on the wall. Pattern from texture. Let's see what we got. Now notice, see how it's got that little um, reflection there in the in the material. So it's just uh, computing. It's computing that. But that's okay. We're just gonna go with that. Click OK. Whoops! It just crashed. I'll be back. All right, I reopened it. I'm going to see if I can't uh, get it to work without crashing again. Da, 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 da. We don't want that material. We want Oh, another great thing is now we can uh, share our user libraries, all of our libraries, in uh, a cloud drive. So, like, for instance, I work often from my um, laptop or remotely or from my desktop at the office. And I just like to, um, it's nice to not have to sync up the files so that I can, I can have all the same libraries on my, both, on both computers. All right, let's take a section view. There you go. It's rough, but uh, it looks a heck of a lot better than what we used to have, right? Um, okay, lastly, I wanted to show you this. So, right, F9, turn on our reference displays. What if we have more than two um, floors that we want to see how that it's all coming together right here on this point above the kitchen, right? I'm going to turn on my reference display. I'm going to hit my number one key, and I can add a new floor. So instead of, I could make this one be second floor, and I can make this one be third floor. Watch this. I can see both floors in reference, how that's coming down through there. Secondly, uh, I've never played with saved plan views before, until now. And I used to, I'm sure you've seen the um, videos where I would do my as-builts. I would, I would create my as-built model uh, for a remodel or an addition project. I would create that model and in plan view, then I would export that to a CAD detail, right? Import, copy that those CAD details back onto their own layer, set them in the back, turn them gray, turn them, you know, all that stuff. Now I've got I've got set up a saved plan view where I've got existing reference. Uh, yes, we're going to save the plan view that was previous. So I'm going to cancel this. 
we're on reference floor and I change this saved plan view of reference floor to include the third floor so I want when I change it to any of these uh, plan views or uh, saved plan views it's gonna say hey 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 reference floor got changed do you want to save that yes I want to save that now this is pulling up a different reference layer I can reference another file so I've got my new file is open and I can reference the existing file x11 testing is my existing file and I'm gonna match the current floor with a reference existing display layer set that's a different layer set than my um, than my reference plan set and I, I set that up purposefully like this let's go over to the existing plan here and I'm going to go into let's go into my working plan view here on second floor and in here in my layer sets I've got a reference display layer set which is my typical red reference existing display layer set has certain uh, layers on uh, why can't I let's go to working plan view there we go existing display has just certain layers on and all layers are gray dashed lines because over here I only want gray dashed lines to come through okay so when I um, reference this you can see I've selected the existing plan model I'm matching the current floor and I'm choosing the layer set reference existing display layer set so that it comes through as gray dashed lines notice I changed this door from a hinge door to a barn door I added this barn door and now you can see where that the wall used to be here that's why the gray is the dash lines are continuing on through that I can go up and I can see where up in my floor and I can see where the second floor used to look this is what second floor looks like in my existing plan now notice my roof is on in this existing layer display set I don't want that so I'm going to go and turn that off in my existing roof plane so we go okay just want the walls there we go so there's the walls of the um, oh you know what I just remembered I forgot a door in this room here there's actually a door here and there's a window there and we have you know for some silly reason we have windows over here go back here automatically updated you don't have to resend to CAD etc etc wonderful thing about this is so much fun we added this little addition right on the left let's go to our overview and I'm going to go to 3d why is taco patterns off Oh, I don't want toggle patterns, I want toggle textures, that's why. Toggle textures. Textures are on. Interesting, I can see the uh, notes in there. Now I'm going to... I can uh, do a 3D uh, reference display as well. I'm going to choose my existing plan. I happen to have this one open already. If it weren't open, I could go into my file structure system and find that. So that's that. I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to change the existing to be standard, and I want the new now I, I want it I want it vice versa. Here we go. We're going to go to the new 
to the existing one. Here, here we go. I'm going to take a rendering of this. Now I'm going to reference display the new one on top of it, and I'm going to make the new one be my glass house rendering. So I can see what's being proposed as a as an addition out the side here. A lot of fun little cool tips and tricks with this new version. If you've downloaded X11, uh, you can. If you haven't yet, you can. If you have their software support and assurance program, good through March sometime. You can go to your digital locker and download that there. If you haven't updated that, um, I will be sharing some new tips and tricks from X11 in the coming weeks in my Tech Tip Tuesday videos. Uh, it's just this is this is so much fun. I hope you have a great day. Have a great week. We'll see you next time. Take care.